Our Weed of the Week is a summer annual, it's stink grass. Well, fortunately in our corn and soybeans and even alfalfa, we really haven't run into stink grass no. as a problem, but in lawns or in small grains, it sure can be. Yeah, and like we always say, we want to have great crop canopy. Mow your grass a little taller. And generally, a summer annual isn't going to be that big an issue. One of the big challenges with a summer annual grass is a lot of times our pre's have run out of power by the time that late emerger really comes. So in wheat, for example, if you use prepare down, it would work pretty good if you were planting late, but we're planting yeah, early. Yeah, but Zidual would be better. I, I mean, there's no question about it. We like the group 15s. So in corn or in soybeans, group 15s are great. Harness, Surpass, Outlook, Dual, and Corn, similar chemistries in soybeans. The yellows that you would use in soybeans and a number of other crops like Trifluralin or Prowl, they are awesome and they last a long time. So get something that's very effective out there, whereas Prepare, not super effective in wheat. And yes, it may start to run out of gas later in the year. But post-emerge, there just aren't many choices for control either. No, in wheat, Puma is actually the best. Axial is weak, Everest is weak. Uh, Puma or beyond, if you had clear field wheat, is not too bad. And obviously, if you have a crop that you can use Roundup, well, Roundup is very effective controlling our Weed of the Week stink grass.